What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Engineers Out Filters podcast, episode 75. That sounds important. I'm your host, uh, <laughs> Jacob Thompson, and tonight I'm still drinking the press. It's been a long day. I was going to go with that double IPA I have uh, from a couple weeks ago, which I have not been drinking. <laughs> uh, but I'm like, you know, I need something something late tonight, so I'm doing the uh, the grapefruit cardamom uh, press seltzer. Let's okay, see. okay. I am Joseph, and I found something very interesting at mm. the liquor store the other day. And that would be Pabst Blue Ribbon Stronger Seltzer. Oh, it is 8%. Okay. Wait, 8%? Lime. 8%. I've heard about this. I've 8% heard about this. Stronger this is, Seltzer. This is I have one not that... tried this yet. This is going to be my first taste. All right, let's, we're gonna let's see it. See how it goes. That's harsh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. All right. All right. What, what flavor you say it was? Lime. Lime. That's the only flavor they have. No, they had wild berry. What? I, yeah, I saw. But I no, want to go for lime. That's a standard. When, so. you, when you say harsh, are you talking about you can Ethanol. taste the alcohol? Okay, it's not like the it's not like a white claw carbonation harsh. No, it's you can taste the ethanol in it or the alcohol in it. <laughs> the ethanol. You're eating fucking processed it's a straight corn. Straight gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Might as well be paint thinner with uh with sparkling water. Get but it, it. it's it's not the worst. It it has its place because it's eight percent. So I think you got really... that's stronger than most beers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like mm-hmm. honestly, this is an IPA strength, you know. So I don't know huh? about that. What do you mean you don't know about that? IPA strength like seven usually. No, no, no. I agree with you. I just don't know oh. about itself as like a oh, product. And they said like, I don't know about that like you're saying. No, no, no. Sorry, yeah. See, I need to try that one. I've been looking for it, but I I can't find it out here. It's not see the more I t- taste it it's not it's not like a bad like over alcoholic but it's definitely notice more noticeable than like mm-hmm. most uh, m- there's twice as much alcohol in it. Yep. So it's a lot. Yeah. Gabe, what are you drinking up there? Well, I'm Gabe as Jacob had mentioned and I'm drinking the original PBR that nice. tastes smooth and not harsh. <laughs> <laughs> nice sippy beer uh hot summer day. Can't complain. There we go. He's nice. finally off the high life. He's the yeah, back. I am life. because it was <laughs> Joseph's turn to buy beer, so he got the, the PBR. <laughs> the PBR you and get, the PBR. He got old style, Joseph. Come on. But old style one comes in twelve packs, so it's like you had to get, either get two or mm-hmm. yeah, 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 he had to hold the seltzers three. in the other hand, right? So you yeah, I only got so many hands. Two twelves, yeah. and then the seltzer doesn't work. Maybe you could put it under my arm. It's a lot of work. Put it between your cheeks. Ooh, that's a good choice. Waddle out of the store. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I am Dayton, and I'm drinking a new beer that's called the Vermont IPA. Um, I I don't really know anything about it. I just kind of liked the way that the cans looked and the way the box art looked. And it's from Vermont, so I mean, it can't really go wrong. So the, the yeah. style is very reminiscent of Vermont license plates, which we, sh- we saw a lot of this weekend, Dayton. It is. It is. I uh, I really like it. I like it so far. It's supposed to be a hazy, I think, and I can't really see it because I can't see through metal, obviously. Um, <laughs> Weak sauce. <laughs> but, Dude, but the whole beer drinking technique. Mm. Dude, I don't know about you, but I've been able to see through metal this whole time. <laughs> is That's it a, a New England powered. IPA, Dayton? Um... No, I don't think so. Okay, so we go ahead. Uh, well, it says yeah. I guess it says New England style, but okay, yeah. So it is. Yeah, I'm a I'm a fan of those. Much prefer them regular IPAs. Yeah. Welcome back to the podcast, everyone. Uh, like I mentioned, it's episode seventy five. Um, as always, you can find us on YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, and Google Play every Monday, and you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter at EWF Podcast. Uh, before we get started tonight, I do a couple couple shout outs. First, I want to give a big shout out to our friend uh, Andrea, massive fan of the podcast I mentioned last week. Uh, Dayton and I uh, went and visited her this weekend in Vermont, and it was awesome. So thank you for your, your hospitality and being awesome. Um, it was hot. 
It was like 90 degrees all three days. Me and Dayton were sweating our balls off. Yeah, it was brutal. But, uh, it was a good time. And then also, I want to do just a quick little 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 story time here. So I've been getting some messages uh, from from friends asking me like, "Wait, why are you in Connecticut?" I don't think I accurately said on the podcast why I'm out here. I just said I'm moving out here. Um, so I want to just make that clear. Um, basically, I'm going to Purdue in the fall, right? I'm going there early August. Um, Joseph and I's lease, the apartment was up at the end of May. And Joseph already moved in with Gabe, obviously. So I was need to find a place to live for June and July. Could have lived at home, but home situation would have been a little bit tricky. Um, meanwhile, Dayton had some spots out here for me to live so i'm like screw it i'll just drive across country hang out with dayton for the summer get to see him again see a new part of the country and uh just you know have a good time before i i pop down to, to indiana for grad school so mm -hmm. i'm out here to see dayton slash avoiding my parents <laughs> slash having a good time <laughs> <laughs> all right so hopefully slash putting back some brewskis with some friends <laughs> honestly more what like friends, what could you ask for you've been drinking a lot of seltzers we have we have except i just i bought a 12 pack of this stuff because I, I had high hopes for it and they're they're pretty the the taste is pretty high so i'm glad i bought a 12 pack awesome yeah um so this week normally we would do a stem episode since multiple of five but this episode will come out um pretty much like end of june slash i guess it'll be end of june um so we'll be halfway through 2020 did you hear that, everyone? You survived halfway through 2020. Woo -hoo. The, longest, <laughs> the longest slash short, shortest year in history. Um, and probably the most horrible that we've we've lived through anyway. And mm -hmm. uh, it's halfway through. It's time for our mid-year year compass update. And, you know, I feel like it's going to be interesting <laughs> because <laughs> we all wrote these, you know, December slash January of uh you know past december january back before before coronavirus um and we all had plans and things we want to do this year so i'm really curious to see um how everything has been shaken out for us um and just a quick preview dayton and i on our drive to vermont listened to the year compass episode from this year and you know it seems like joseph and gabe are actually doing pretty good uh dayton's doing pretty okay too and i'm doing horrible um so you know, there's a little little sneak peek but uh yeah let's let's get into it so we'll first do what we normally do is kind of go through the pages and just i guess since it's a recap we're not going to go over everything but we'll just point out things that are notable for being oh i actually nailed this or like i'm completely off or just any sort of um, comments you want to make um on stuff so we'll start on i guess for for you guys page 15 i'll even let you dip into page 14 if you're feeling frisky um but this is kind of just what generally what the year will be about in, in different categories and such. So, um, Joseph, for some reason, I'm going to you first. All right. So should I start on Dare to Dream Big? If you got something on that, go for it. Because I got a couple things I, I noted I want to talk about. But um, Well, I've only got a couple things on here, so I can run through them real quick. Um, first top, for, or right at the top, live with Gabe. Check. Living <laughs> okay. with Gabe. Okay. Um. Then I got explore my hobbies more in the area. Well, I bought a bike, um, so i am been riding that a lot. I actually uh, finally just got biking gloves for that. Took me took like, me a while. World of a difference. Oh, yeah. yeah. They got, like, the padding on, like, the heel or yep. the ball of your hand or whatever. Mm -hmm. So nice. Mm -hmm. Plus, they're, like, yellow. So out of the corner of my eyes, I can see my hands better and judge if I'm going to hit trees or not. That's okay. helpful because I hit trees a lot. <laughs> um, and <laughs> notably, I have go to more concerts slash comedians. Well, the two <laughs> concerts I bought tickets for both got canceled. Yep. So I don't know if that's really going to happen this year. Hey, at least they got refunded, though. That is true. Both got refunded. Um, let's see. And then do I, do I want to jump into 15 then? Well, I'll, I'll come back to you then. Okay. Uh, I'll play your first spot. We'll, so we'll right. do the <laughs> rotate, you know. I don't, I don't, I don't know what's Stay going in on. your lane, Donnie. <laughs> <laughs> Gabe, what do you want to start with? Uh, sure. I mean, I'll do the Dare to Dream big one, too. Uh, so I've got moving in Minneapolis. I didn't say Joseph, but I'll <laughs> uh, retroact. Uh, anyways, uh, 
make a bunch of new friends. Have not done that at all. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's partly because of Corona, partly because probably a little bit of me. Mm -hmm. uh, find my work rewarding. I'd say so far so good. Uh, find Minneapolis engaging. Uh, I think I'm doing pretty decent on that. There's definitely more stuff that I want to do and try. I decided that I'm going to start making a list of things that I want to do in the city or things that I can do here that I can't do in other places and then eventually check those off. But uh, I have pursued guitar and passion projects with more time. Uh, I got the guitar in the back, but it doesn't mean I play it every day. <laughs> you play it pretty often. I do I, play I it hear. a decent amount, but I want to be more consistent with it. Um, so I think we'll talk about it later, but there's some ideas I have making, forcing myself to be a little bit more consistent on that. And then I got a start a side hustle to pay off that debt. I got some <laughs> ideas brewing, but I had, didn't realize how much of emotional and physical toll <laughs> a full-time job really takes on your body. Mm -hmm. like I thought, oh, I'd be fine, but I'm mm -hmm. fucking whipped by the end of the day. So that's been on the, on the back burner of importance. Yeah, for sure. Oh. Uh, Dato, give me something. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll keep with the. I'll keep with the. With the whatever you want to call it, the pattern of doing dare to dream big. Um, <laughs> so on here, I have uh, my sister's getting married. Um, so that's that's still happening. It's that's in October. Um, nothing's changed yet. Uh, who knows if it will? Um, it's, it's still like gonna be the same amount of people and stuff. I, th I think so, yeah. Okay. I don't know. Um, and then I have my other friend is getting married. Uh, so that one got pushed back until August. It was supposed to be in May. And then um, I have in here, <laughs> I have that I would like to either go out west to see some friends out there or go to Europe with another one of my friends. Uh, neither of those have happened or will happen in 2020. I can tell you that much right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> but except I, what I do have on here that has been happening is planning some, some backpacking trips. So I have a camping trip planned for not this weekend, but next weekend. Um, Jake will be like joining that. me with, on that one. Um, and then I have a day hike where we hit a whole bunch of the different um, peaks in the White Mountains planned. And then mm -hmm. I also just finished planning a bike packing trip. Um, so it's gonna be my first bike packing trip. Uh, I think we're gonna cover about 90 miles in three days. Um, mostly, actually entirely on single track, I think. Um, so that's gonna be, oh, yeah. that's gonna be freaking exciting. So I actually so was able you, to plan that. Are you so, getting saddlebags for that? Or are you gonna have a backpack? So I'm gonna try and get away without having to get like new bags or anything like that. So mm -hmm. Joseph, I just well, for for the people that that aren't Joseph, I just got a new backpack. <laughs> um, I just got a new 15 liter backpack that's for like uh, trail running and stuff like that. So it's it's pretty small, except I can manage to fit in my tent, my sleeping bag, and my sleeping pad into it with with room to spare. So I'm thinking that I'll probably just end up wearing that, and then I might get like a handlebar bag or something like that that maybe adds like another like. 10 liters or so of for like food and stuff yeah like food and then i might stick in some like i don't know some like clothes or whatever yeah some um, brewskis <laughs> definitely brewskis yeah <laughs> <laughs> nice. um and then the last one that i have on here oh actually well there's two more there's start building marine robots yeah that didn't happen um i kind of lost in well not necessarily lost interest i just went fucking full squirrel on that one um <laughs> and as you can see, you know, I moved into a new apartment and I'm just like, fuck it, I want to build some like acoustic panels and shit. So I built those. Um, that took me a while to like plan it out because um, I went through like three or four different designs that I wanted. Um, and then the last one is start losing some weight. So I've lost around 10 ish pounds since the beginning of the year. Um, and I just intend to keep on losing. I'll probably. I don't know, lose like five, five to eight more pounds. I think that'll put me in a pretty good place. So, yeah. someone who's seen him in person recently, ladies, he's looking good. All right, <laughs> <laughs> just saying. I appreciate it, Jacob. Um, all right, so my dare to dream, uh, I kind of just organized it by like, 
uh, sections of the year. It's in thirds. So, like the first section was, you know, Minneapolis section. That's done. Second section is the summer. And I thought I'd be living somewhere else, but I ended up living out here. So that was a fun surprise. Hell yeah. And the third section is grad school, which is still happening. Uh, Purdue's letting people come back to campus this fall. So that's good. I want to focus on, I wrote down just like fun stuff. So like things I was looking forward to this year and just kind of run through those because there's some funny stuff. So have Duluth trip. We actually got that in in time. Got that in in January. <laughs> yep. it um, in. I have Cyberpunk 2077, Psych. which is still coming out this year, but it just keeps getting pushed and is now. I don't know if you're gonna hit that one. I know, and now it's in November, and it's like, please, can it just come out? Um, this is what the third year. delay? Yeah, because it was supposed to be in the spring, and then I got pushed back to what September? Sec- second delay. Is a second yeah. delay. Yeah. Well, it oh, got no. pushed back to next. No, no, it was originally about in April. Uh-huh. Then September yeah. and then now November. Yeah, so okay. it's three dates but two delays. Yeah, yeah. Um, Doom Eternal, check, great game. Um, Hades, another game that is not out of early early access yet, so that's a medium. Halo Infinite should be coming out this year, so that's that's a soft check. Um, the end of BoJack Horseman, big old check. They nailed that shit. Um, Watchmen, check. Anime big check but watch <laughs> you know i as i said before i watched a shit ton of one piece i've taken a break right now oh, I'm 750 man. episodes in week like lost. 120 i'm taking a break so i just needed to just you know do something else for a little bit um <laughs> movies that's a big x it has been closed for a while and everything got pushed um except for like tenant for some reason christopher nolan still thinks it's coming out in july and everyone's like it's not um so that's a big X. And then the other big X is um, I wrote down all the announcements and hype, uh, mostly indicating like E3, which is like every year in June, all the video game companies come together for this one conference. Everything gets announced. And it's really fun. Obviously, there's no conferences or like conventions anymore. So all the announcements are just getting like really spread out and also just like on top of each other like every single day. And it should be hype, but it's also just super hard to keep track of. So that's not been as fun. Um, so that's been a kind of a bummer. But overall, things that have happened already have been really good. Things are still supposed to happen. We'll see. I don't know. But Interesting. overall, media has been been all right this year. You all right, just didn't going... note any fun stuff about coming out here, though. I didn't know I was going out there in January. <laughs> I, know, I didn't I'm know just giving you shit. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I wrote lack of moon. foresight on your end. <laughs> I thought I was living with my cousins and like cooking all the time, but that did not happen. Yeah, um, all right. Now we are definitely moving on to the next page. Um, so this is right. this is what my next year will be about. And like I hinted before, these are like in different um, uh, categories, we'll say. So Joseph, just give me give me a hot category. Well, let's see. Um, off the top of my head, of what I can actually read because my handwriting's dog shit. <laughs> um, real under relax relaxation hobbies and creativity. Uh, find ways to use my hobbies to make friends. That's hard to do at the moment. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, working on it, um, but still, uh, that's that's a hard, hard no at the moment. Um, another one is under work studies and profession. Uh, I had work to live versus live to work, and that's kind of going back and forth. Because <laughs> um, yeah. right now my. Uh, my current project is like in crunch time as it has been for the past couple of weeks, I would say. And now I have to work from home for this week and next week um, because our roommate decided to get to come into contact with someone who has tested positive for coronavirus. Yeah, so actually. is that is that confirmed now that the well, they time? so our roommate's girlfriend trained someone at work and then the next day they received the results from a test that was positive <laughs> the person so, they worked with not yes with correct the person they worked with got the positive test result today the 24th um my roommate and his girlfriend both took the, the test and we should hear back from hers tomorrow they it's an in-house test so it should only take 24 hours his takes four to seven days i think yeah, it's gonna be a hot, hot minute. so at that point it really doesn't matter <laughs> yeah i mean like if she has it he probably has it right he, exactly I mean, yeah um so 
we're gonna we're gonna find out but either way i have to work from home for two weeks and i was supposed to have acceptance testing from the customer this next coming week so the week of the fourth of july um i can't do that because i can't go in mm -hmm. so we'll see how that happens um it should still happen hopefully uh another co-worker who's been kind of working on the project can get there either way i've been working from home been in crunch time but i've also been putting in more hours um long story short because of that and but for the summer we switched to 980s so work nine days a week nine days every two weeks um so i get every other friday off which is nice mm -hmm. um so a little bit of both kind of balances itself out but yeah. it's nice to have a three-day week every weekend every other week so Definitely. there we go gabe give me a, a category or two like joseph getting greedy over there hey yeah i didn't know we were doing <laughs> two but all right well, the first one was short you know <laughs> i'll do one because i have restraint thank you, thank you <laughs> i do uh relaxation hobbies and creativity uh i did mountain bike more in the new area uh, yesterday I went for like the first time in like three weeks. I just, I just like was, I don't know, something was up with that. Uh, but I have been going a decent amount. Uh, the trails here aren't nearly as bad as I thought they were going to be. Uh, what do you mean by bad? Is in like bad isn't not fun or bad isn't too hard for you? Not fun. Oh. I'm not worried about things being too hard. I'm not that great at it. I just enjoy doing it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but they're, they're pretty fun. I mean, they're, they're challenging, but it's not going to be, you know, Houghton or Marquette or anything. Mm -hmm. um, I have Pursue Guitar more, uh, like I kind of said in the last one. Um, I haven't been playing it, uh, but I'm not nearly as consistent. I like to at least touch it every day. Like Even if it's only 10 minutes, I want to I wanna do some more of it. Uh, I've been kind yeah, of hitting well, a wall. Just cut a little bit and, you know, just make sure it's mm -hmm. held. <laughs> you know, hold it in, in my bed, yeah. Tune uh, it and then decide that you're sick of it. Uh, yeah and then the think... temperature changes the next day so the strings have to be retuned <laughs> just tune it every day that's my whole yeah job. yeah uh, and that's been kind of weird because i've I found once i get past like so i i did like i bought a training website thing mm -hmm. like course i guess mm -hmm. and i got to like the hear all the major chords one and then it's like okay go out and play songs and then come back and it's just like Guitar has a lot less structure than I'm used to being in like a very structured school for my whole life. Um, so I've kind of been tossing around this idea of like making a, uh, an Instagram page where I like force myself to post once a week. So I like feel more obligated to like post progress or something like, okay, this week I have to tackle this song or tackle this technique or something mm -hmm. and do like a short video or something. Um, don't know about that. Uh, so hopefully I can get my shit together. Uh, next I got build a new computer. I c did like half of that. That's a, that, I'll, I'll give it a check. Dude, come on, that's a big check. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, uh, all the main components are new. So yeah. So I got a new CPU, got a new motherboard, uh, and a new graphics card. And oh boy, is it fucking sweet. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I also just got a TV that I'm kind of using as an extra monitor, which is super nice. Uh, so I'm very happy with that. Uh, and it's just nice to have. And the last one I have is keep lifting. Uh, <laughs> that has taken a bit of a back burner mm -hmm. uh, just because gyms are closed. They're starting to open back up now, but uh, from it's what I can tell. a pain. Yeah, so for like Minneapolis, currently it's like, I want to say 25 or 50 percent capacity uh and the gym that's like near us uh it comes out to like 20 people and it's like there's no way that like by the time i get there you know it's gonna be an open spot mm -hmm. or whatever so i've been doing at home workouts i've still been doing at least three a week and then uh besides this month i've been trying to go at least mountain biking once or twice a week to do some cardio just to stay active and kind of like at least keep some semblance of, uh, I don't know, just like being in shape uh, before they open back up. So I'll go back and hit that. But I have a feeling that it's going to set me back quite a bit as far as like my progress goes. I can kind of like feel it and just uh, see it a little bit, then mm -hmm. set back a little bit and I'll have to work back to it. 
Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. It'll come back though. It'll come back pretty quickly. Now yeah, you've got the so. foundation down. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Uh, I'm going to do emotional, spiritual. Uh, I have down, learn how to overthink less and take things as they are. Also mentally think of things that I'm grateful for every day. And it's usually just like the small things. Um, so I think I'm definitely, I don't know if it's like the weather or what, but like I've noticed just in like pretty much like since like the quarantine started, like I just feel like I'm, I don't know, like happier, which is like, <laughs> it's, it feels weird, right? Because like there's a that the people. opposite of what you would think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, Wait a you, minute, that's illegal. It's like, <laughs> and it, it feels kind of weird for me to say that because I know there's a lot of people who have like struggled with like the quarantine and everything like that. Mm -hmm. But it feels like I'm not like as distracted with a lot of different things that I don't have like different um, like activities like pulling me in different ways or anything. And also, I don't feel bad about just like not doing anything for like a little bit like some days i'm just like fuck it like i don't want to i don't want to exercise today so then i don't and i just like play video games or whatever and like i'm just like whatever it's the quarantine i don't give a shit <laughs> like, <laughs> what happens in quarantine stays in quarantine yeah right? yeah so i don't know like so i think i'm definitely in like a better place like emotionally um just because i've i don't know i feel like i feel like this is like my jam like feels good so okay yeah. okay i like it um i'm gonna do health and fitness um so i wrote down get into a good workout routine um keep eating well and try new recipes so i want to say before shit hit the fan i was doing good okay you were when we were living was, together you were solid like, on january your through march or whatever like I, I got a gym membership every day i went to work on my drive home, stopped there, worked out, came home, you know, things were going good. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as quarantine started, I just did not work out at all. <laughs> like I ran a couple times, but like, I was just, I couldn't get motivated to, uh, to do it. Um, so, and it, it just, it feels shitty. Cause like, I don't know. I feel like some, uh, some days I'll like go in the bathroom and look at my, like, my, my body. And I'm just like, could they could use some work you know <laughs> like it doesn't look like great um and i don't know i just it's frustrating because i was doing so well and i just like part of it's like i had no control over anything but also i could have worked out in the apartment so it's just like i don't know i want to get back into that in some shape or form it's just really hard right now and uh my sleep schedule is all fucked like right now like it, it was doing pretty well but right now i'm back on like the 2 a.m to 10 a.m shit and it's just not not ideal meeting like one or two meals a day just because my weird hours and stuff and it's just i don't know i'm getting all my shit done i have to with like work and school but um i'm just my body is completely out of sync so um yeah i i'll talk about it more later i guess but i want i'm hoping when i move in with dayton this weekend um and i have to get on dayton's schedule at least a little bit that'll help me out <laughs> um this will be sleeping in the same room uh but <laughs> he's giving me he's giving me a look right now but uh, yeah, right now things are, are not not great for my routine stuff. So, yeah, that, it's then super hard even to like work out at home because like it's my area to relax. It's just like uh, I could literally sit on the couch and nothing would change. And like, no joke, I work out like in the living room because it's like the only comments, like the only space I have for it. So like Joseph and Tim will be like just eating or whatever and just relaxing and i'm like just working out <laughs> just getting or like swole. we're all quarantined right now so like right i was working you know it was like all right my lunch break's over you know back to work and then gabe's just over here sweating and grunting <laughs> in front of me with his shirt off it's like come on dude i didn't have my shirt off today don't distract me like that over. right but <laughs> even, even if like for the rest of the summer, i can at least get like I run like at least three times a week. I'd be happy with that, and maybe yeah. do some push-ups or something. But I just I just need to do something because like it's I just found really it to be hard. very hard to motivate myself with yeah. it. So. Yeah. Joseph, you want to give me another one? Um, I don't know. Not. I don't know. I feel like none of mine doesn't pop in. You did, we do, could... you did do two right off the bat. Yeah, I did do two. We the other one onto the on the next page. That is okay, also. Well, let me let me just go around one more time, Gabe and Dave. If you want to do anything else on this page, and then we can go to the next one. 
Yeah. Uh, Gabe, mm. do you have another one you want to do? Yeah, I'll do the work studies and profession. So obviously this year I started a new job. Uh, and surprisingly, like up until this point, I haven't been working from home at all. So like I still have, I still have a job. I didn't get furloughed or anything, which is awesome. Uh, but I have new job, learning new things, and try to be good at it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I definitely have learned a lot of new things. Um, specifically, I've been doing a lot more like programming than normal, more on like the scripting side than like full blown programs. Um, but I would not imagine in any other reality that I would actually do it unless like people are actually paying me, like, hey, you know, figure this out and then will pay you so now i feel like a lot more motivated to learn that type of thing and i'm finding it also to be a lot more interesting and, and work out a lot more um, i've been really enjoying that definitely have a lot more other stuff to learn as i go along but it's a pretty good start so far i'd say nice that's awesome yeah. Dayton, you have anything else on this page you want to talk about um no not really okay we can I'll move just do on to the next one. page we can move on yeah. Last thing I'll say is on the emotional spiritual box. Um, I wrote down, I believe building better habits will help me uh, help my emotional state. Um, I mentioned in, in our first, we recorded this episode a few weeks ago, back in January. Um, I remember saying like, I was feeling pretty lonely at the end of 2019. Um, and it's weird. Kind of like Dayton said, like you'd think I'd be more lonely in quarantine, but as I just, because I had to be inside that guilt went away of like, <laughs> feel like oh i should be seeing other people so i've been actually doing okay emotionally like it's it's i think i was putting a lot of pressure on myself to like be more social um and that was causing more loneliness but <laughs> the fact that i have no choice anymore it's like ah cool i can just be an introvert like not worry about it <laughs> um, i can still see you guys obviously and talk to friends and stuff but i don't have to like worry about like going to bars and stuff so um turned out being okay Mm -hmm. um all right so the next i guess it's like two pages <clears throat> this next section so you can go either 16 or 17 whatever suits your your fancy here um joseph will go to you first this section is called magical triplets for the year ahead so it's just uh, groups of threes um in different kind of spots so uh joseph give me some um let's see so one one that caught my eye was uh th these three things i will dare to discover <clears throat> excuse me um first off mountain biking check hey. uh, and i'm still keeping at it you know as you may have heard from previous episodes i'm pretty pretty jazzed about that um see second off cocktail making i've see i've only really like done one other cocktail which was a, a standard margarita but like a classic margarita where it's like mostly tequila some lime juice <laughs> and curacao and I think they turned out pretty good. I had a blast <laughs> drinking them. Uh, and Joseph making just them smelled it and he got drunk. <laughs> Basically, it's two shots of tequila, a shot of curacao, and a shot of lime juice. Like, this, <laughs> it's Ooh, a lot. Man. It's a sipper. All right, <laughs> it's, a sipper. it's not a La Cantina um, where you just margarita. Put it, put it down. Yeah, where you just it's a it's not like a slurpy. Yeah, you but, just destroy it. Yeah, yeah, but there it's tasty. Tell you what. Um, and then healthier cooking habits. I feel like I've gotten a little bit better. Not, I mean, not to say I was cooking unhealthily, um, but like, I don't know. There's one point you had chicken thighs like six days in a row, which was preceded by having a quesadilla for two weeks in a row. Okay. <laughs> I have my moment, <laughs> but I will say specifically my lunches have gotten a lot better rather than just like a, a like a ham and cheese or like roast beef and cheese sandwich i've started putting like romaine lettuce and like slices of tomato and onion on it uh give it a give me a bit more fiber in my diet a bit, bit more vet, vegetables mm -hmm. um, so I feel like i've been doing better with that and uh trying new i've been trying quite a few new recipes i uh made pasta for the first time like like made homemade fresh, pasta. Fresh pasta oh like you, yeah. you like rolled it and shit yeah, we, uh, so my girlfriend and I, which is a relatively new thing, uh, <laughs> and I, I feel now comfortable to say on here. Camera. Yeah, <laughs> she's quarantined with me. Um, but well, it's it's not a, 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 a me, it's an us at this point. Yeah, time. and us. <laughs> yeah. We're all quarantined together. It's, it's a mixing pot of coronavirus and uh, uh, <laughs> just doing. Um, anyway. Wait, if you, got, made... if you guys got one more person in your house, 
you could you could claim that you're one of like those like corona like buckets that they oh yeah <laughs> oh like a, yeah yeah, yeah. Like like the, the, the a six beer bucket yeah mm-hmm. man if only if only um, Tim had a girlfriend or not Tim uh Gabe oh yeah come on yeah. <laughs> pick up the man. slack I'll just invite someone un- unbeknownst to them on like Tinder or something. Now you're oh, come over here for two weeks. <laughs> oh, yeah. By the way, you're Corona stuck virus? with us. <laughs> you can't leave. <laughs> you're trapped in here with me. <laughs> you're going to like my jokes by the end of this. <laughs> oh, I just imagine some random girl getting like immobilized by Gabe's farts. <laughs> oh, God. His rancid ass farts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God damn! But anyway, <laughs> anyway, homemade we made pasta. we made pasta one night, and then we we made um, so what was it like? I don't know, some chicken weird shit. It was I don't even remember what was all in it, <laughs> but it it was different than I would have normally made, and it was really tasty. It, yeah, okay. some more pasta. Oh, we made shrimp tacos. We like fried up some shrimp. And uh, made like the sauce and everything. So yeah, I, I just, we've been more. I've been more adventurous, partly because of her, but in right. general, I, I have been. Yeah. It's just another overall quick, positive quick thing on that, Joseph. I saw in your guys' uh, Snapchat, you guys had a little painting night, a group painting night. The we other did. Night. We we that was <laughs> the infection night. Believe Mine it or not, was the next dog day, shit. <laughs> the next day, we found out. Or the next morning, we found out that we all got exposed. So that was cool. How did how'd it go? Usually like a Bob um, Ross tutorial. I get yeah. We, we so we did a Bob Ross tutorial. We had no idea what the painting was. We went off the name of the episode. We just started painting, mm-hmm. and uh, I quit halfway through because it looked really bad. Not like yeah. the first time I did it. And um, yeah, not, I think one of our one of the groups looked good. One of them looked good, and some others were like passable mm-hmm. was it like more advanced than you expected yeah we it was just not yeah we, we got to the part where it's like paint the background You're like okay i can handle this it's like <laughs> okay paint the mountain I'm like okay this isn't terrible and it's like now do the lake and the bushes and the trees and it's like oh no <laughs> <laughs> do the mountain okay I, I can draw some triangles, you know, color them dark. It look like an actual mountain. And then he's like, now add the snow. Just like, just kind of like, pop, 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 snow. And I was like, what? <laughs> and then you like do it and it's like, this is, this looks nothing like it, you know? And it, it deteriorated really quickly. This looks like the headboard of a hotel bedroom. <laughs> Basically. <Yikes. laughs> so so I, I didn't finish it. It's sitting on the floor staring me in shame are you gonna uh, show currently. it are you gonna show it to the i can camera? You, really gotta, want you can't do it you can't tease us like that joseph i i don't i don't want to but here it is <laughs> the mountains actually look pretty decent here's the thing this is nothing this is just sky it's spo- yeah, this like, supposed I, to be filled in i'm imagining this, those are clouds and then it's also like the ocean this is <laughs> no I, like this is supposed to be a glacier and then like uh differentiating like the the dark side and the light side mm-hmm. of like the shadows or whatever and this is supposed to be more like snow but it turned out way more gray and it then the paint like shadow was, i yeah. know it's not supposed to be and it looks a lot worse like in person than on the camera <laughs> oh. I, I stand by the mountains look okay the oh, i'm really i like the coloration because it's like this bluish green i like the color of the water this is a little iffy, but like everything else, it looks good until I put the mountains on it, in my opinion. Okay. And it right. it just wasn't what I wanted it to be. And then I just, the paint was drying because we were taking too long. So it's like, then you can't blend it anymore. Mm-hmm. And so it's yeah. like, it's, it's rough. Well, it was rough. It, he'd paint something in like 10 seconds and we had to like pause it and spend like five minutes on it. And then yeah. like unpause and then do the next 10 seconds. And by then there's some points where it was just too dry to like do what we were supposed to yeah so gotcha uh gub give me a triplet i'll do the dare discover too because i actually filled that one out all the way and i'm a copier <laughs> uh i did minneapolis uh i didn't discover it this last couple months because <laughs> of two reasons <laughs> uh one being uh the rona obviously and the other one being 
uh, the initial riots and then eventual peaceful protests. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely been difficult to explore it uh, when everything is shut down. Uh, have next thing a more creative side uh, to me. Like I've mentioned a couple of times in the podcast before, I feel like I never really have done anything super creative. Uh, so the guitar is definitely helping. Uh, doing random paint nights, I guess, is counts. Mm -hmm. um, I, it's kind of creative. I mean, yeah, just yeah. Uh, kind of poking towards that side because it's nothing I've ever really. Uh, I feel like I've consciously tried to drift towards. I've always kind of stuck to like computers and and stuff mm -hmm. like that, <laughs> which uh, it's a lot different. It's it's interesting to use a different part of your brain for sure. And then finally, I have a new work environment. Uh, so obviously, you got the new job. And honestly, it's been very ideal, especially for like a brand new job. Uh, everybody on the team that I'm on is uh, very young. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's very easy to get along with people. There's all uh, pretty helpful and, and uh, easy to get along with. And, uh, even it, with like me being in the office and like, 95 percent of the employees like being work from home uh it's been pretty sweet like they definitely made steps to take care of us like they pay for our breakfast and lunch uh so it's weird actually having to cook all three meals for myself <laughs> <laughs> this week it's not yeah. going so hot trust me <laughs> <laughs> but no it's definitely a very good ideal first working environment so i'm pretty happy about it nice i like it uh, Dayton, give me a triplet as well. Um, all right, I'm gonna go with with these three presents while I reward my successes. Mm -hmm. Um, the first one is a bathymetry map of Lake Superior, and I have in parentheses wooden. Um, well, those cost like 500 bucks or something like that, <laughs> so I decided to just go with the cheaper option. I just got a regular old poster of a <laughs> bathymetry map of Lake Superior, so I actually have that, and it. It's supposed to be hanging up like right right there just off frame of the camera, except I'm having troubles hanging it and it's fallen off the wall twice now and broken the frame in two spots, but I've just been stapling it back together. So it looks kind of <laughs> jank, but it still holds the map up, so I don't really give a shit. Um, <laughs> That's all that really matters. Yeah. Um, a weekend of just vegging out, um, and I... I think that's been like fucking every weekend since like March. So <laughs> <laughs> I think I got that one checked off. Uh, and in a weekend of intense outdoor activity, uh, which I have not done yet, uh, except I think I have a few weekends of intense outdoor yeah, activity say, yeah. planned. Yeah, so a couple coming up. I think I, I'm, I'm sitting pretty with these three magic triplets. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do this one because it's ironic. Um, these three things I'll have the power to say no to. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Staying in the apartment for too long. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, procrastination. Not, not going so well either. And uncertainty, which 2020 has been the most uncertain year uh, in history. But ironically, I've actually, once I got into grad school and I guess figured out this summer, it's not been as uncertain, so that's good. But in retro, in, you know, hindsight, this year it's like so uncertain. I'm like, what the fuck is gonna happen? So you were so naive when we filled this shit out, dude. Yeah, <laughs> well, not naive. Really. We 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 had incomplete information. Yeah, the yes. <laughs> impossible. The archives are incomplete. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So as much as I want to say no to these things, uh, it didn't happen. I said yes very hard to all of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> whether you like it or not <laughs> yeah it wasn't really it wasn't really my choice <laughs> joseph i'll go back to you for another triplet um so i'll go with i will connect with my loved ones in these three ways um so first off uh calling my parents more regularly i talk to them on the phone about every week now <laughs> it, it, um, okay it's because they call you though right no i call them every once in a while actually i was okay. gonna call them today shit Anyway, <laughs> um, but Half check. Half yeah, check. but uh, it was definitely more regular or it is more regular than it has been previously. Like even when I was at school, like I never fucking called them. <laughs> um, I was pretty bad about that. Um, but this week I've been or this 
past couple months really, specifically i've been a lot better about talking to them and everything with that um another one is meeting friends for drinks have maybe not since saint patrick's day i haven't gone out for a drink since saint patrick's day specifically um and then a tattoo from my cousin because my cousin lives out here and works at a tattoo parlor and that's still in the works um still need to do that but i we've been in contact on and off about that are you gonna so, get an ass tat <laughs> that's not my first plan but it is on the list okay what about a tramp stamp no that's that's not on the list i feel like ass tat <laughs> ass tat's more i'm uh, trying to convince gabe better. to get an ass tat with me i'm thinking yeah, i get it. i, I get the pbr logo and he gets high life or we could do yeah. the the but see dane's got one, lion brown of the but it's like but joseph i i know you're the you're the high life guy <sighs> am i am i drinking high life hard <laughs> seltzer right now Listen, you're drinking some weird shit i have the og all right <laughs> i'm a true fan yeah the 18 85 dude, beer dude yeah. all that i'm gonna say is that i could probably be convinced to get another ass tat on the other cheek <laughs> yeah just make would, my, yeah, make so my would you get it on the board. other cheek or would you get it like even, next cheek? to the other one i i don't know I don't would know, you have the tatted cheek and the untatted cheek i like that i like that joseph so we had talked about doing like the uh, the window of the house that, that we had in college. The like, old, how fun would that be? Uh, if, like, oh, we we got that, like, that the, the green pussy window, like okay. right on our head. Yeah, okay, that'd be that'd be kind of fun. I think that'd be fun. I think that'd be, yeah. I think that'd be a fun thing to like, like. look I mean, at. I know it's like a oval with like some like stuff coming off the top. It's of like the a we have a picture. Yeah. We have we have pictures. Yeah, I guess we do. A, we do a picture. We can yeah. street view it. Worst yeah. case. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Hmm. okay. So yeah, uh, thoughts are yeah, thoughts are brewing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be excited to see your first tattoo, Joseph. All right. It's I'll... gonna be a yeah, face tattoo. No, tat. it's gonna Ooh. not on my face. We... Um, I don't think my employer would appreciate that. <laughs> Since I do meet with customers every once in a while, so that would not be the best impression intimidate yeah. them into a better deal <laughs> <laughs> exactly just that too fuck you on your forehead <laughs> oh, Jesus. uh gabe what's another one you want to uh i'll do the presents one so this is three presents i will reward my successes got a new computer check a trip for snowboarding in Psych. process well oh, we went to okay. duluth we went to duluth, yeah, duluth but this is uh, a new development. I've been talking to Joseph and watching a lot of YouTube. Uh, yep. uh, different hills to go to. Mountains. Yeah, hills. Yes. Not hills. These, not these hills. are not hills. Yeah. These are more than just bumps in the landscape. These are straight on features. All right. Yeah, looking maybe uh, in January if everything's cooled down. Um, Wait, but that's 2021. Are... Correct. But save it for I'll the be... next year compass yeah, but i'll be Gabe. paying for it now it counts it's fine game's so... cheating no nah, it's not cheating okay fine the trip to duluth counts that was that was fun there you go check uh there you go <laughs> and then last one is a no check a night out with friends that did uh not happen all that much i went out a couple times when i first moved here before everything closed down but mm -hmm. uh, we still have people like a a select group of people that we don't like invite everybody but on fridays we'll have you know see many others over and close friends um uh, over and, and that's been pretty fun it's a lot more low-key obviously but I but it's nice to see other people than just my roommates and yeah exactly it's uh it's a fun time i do enjoy i do look forward to fridays like even if it's just the same old group you can find new shenanigans you know mm-hmm more limited shenanigans, but mm -hmm. shenanigans nonetheless. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Dayton, what's your next one? Um, I think I'm going to do, I am ready to let go of these three things. And I only put two of them down. Um, so I guess I'm ready to let go of these two things. <laughs> um, overthinking, which I think 
I haven't thought once about overthinking in the past six months, so I think I'm doing pretty well on that. And now that I'm thinking about overthinking, I'm probably going to start thinking about overthinking. Um, Because that's just how that that's just how that shit works out, you know. Um, And then distractions from my goals. So really, the only goal that I have, well, like the only like tangible goal that I have right now is just to um, keep losing weight. And I think I'm going to move my goal weight down from 185 down to 180 because um i think i think that's more like a good stopping point um and i guess my other goal i guess would just be like get outside more and backpack more so i guess like distractions would just be like spending too much time inside so sure (laughs) well i've been doing that um, I'm going to do, I will connect with my loved ones in these three ways, uh, similar to Joseph. So one is communication, um, which I feel like I've been pretty good with, uh, just talking to people, either be discord or the podcast or just calling some old friends, um, just catching up with them. So that's been pretty good. Um, watching something with friends, um, obviously has been a little more difficult with the quarantine, but in just when I watched some stuff before I left the apartment and then. Uh, I watched him letter Kenny with Dayton a couple weekends ago. Ooh. So, what'd you think of it, Dayton? It was it was pretty good. Mm-hmm. I I I enjoyed the uh, the vocabulary. Um, mm-hmm. I really liked that. I wasn't so much of a fan of like how they talked, like the dialogue. It just feels okay. like too scripted to me. And like I know that Jacob and I have talked about this, and he's like, "That's the point of the show," but. I don't like it, um, mm-hmm. but I like the vocab, and I think it's still a funny show. I I would almost equate it to like a more scripted version of Trailer Park Boys. Like obviously, it's they're completely different, and I haven't seen as much of Trailer Park Boys, but it's like I mean they're both in Canada. Yeah, but like they're also like very some of the characters are very hickish. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Specifically, the Trailer Park Boys ones, but then, <laughs> you know some in. Uh, letter kenny but it's like that same kind of banter mm-hmm. you know kind of back and forth whereas letter kenny is a lot more scripted or it feels more scripted i don't know how much trailer park boys is but but i would yeah, say they're like, in a similar vein they're not like real conversations but i don't care because they're hilarious yeah and, you know and it's super fast paced so. mm-hmm. mm-hmm. and then the last one i have is uh sharing a drink with friends which just says can't really do but i will counterpoint with you know every week we share a drink with each other and also, we had a few um, Jackbox Zoom calls um, mm-hmm. in the early quarantine days. Some of my college buddies, you know, drinking and playing Jackbox. That was a good time. So we've been able to do that a bit, um, which has been good. All right. Um. So I don't have a whole lot left on this. There's another some another section, but I don't know. If we, I feel like we probably said a lot. We're gonna say. Like, I want to just spend the last part of the podcast talking about after going through this mid-year check-in. Is there anything like actionable you want to do? starting for the second half of the year um to get more like where you want to be um and i can start because i just threw it on you guys but my main things are one i move in with dayton fix my sleep schedule um and figure out uh running at least three times a week um that's the most important thing to me right now because i know if i if i walk into grad school on the two to ten sleep schedule that's not going to end well um (laughs) so at least when i have like a mid a midpoint in between now and then uh, to get a little bit more normal. Then the other thing I've been thinking about, which I just discovered last night. So last night, as I do, I went on a YouTube rabbit hole, one of my favorite things to do uh, that is very irresponsible uh, because it was at like midnight. And (laughs) um, there's this guy I found who um, he did some reaction videos to some new video game stuff. There was a new um, Unreal Engine 5 demo that came out a while ago showing kind of like the, the next generation of gaming, right? So he was reacting to it with the, the lens of he's a game engine developer, so he makes, or he used to work on game engines, and now he's making his own game engine from scratch. Um, he's like, he's 25, and he worked at EA for like four years, and he's just insanely fucking smart, was what I'm getting at, and very like personable and cool, and like he quit his job to just make YouTube videos and build his own game engine. Um <laughs> which I don't have any desire to do, but I think it's interesting and I like him a lot. And he has one of the best C++ uh, series on YouTube of like learning C++. 
And I've enjoyed coding in the past. Um, it's one of it's one of the classes I really like. Just got like the problem solving aspect of it. Um, and I like having I like having like a set set of rules to like operate in and like kind of a toolbox. So I've been thinking about going through a series and just learning C plus um, plus. I haven't decided if I'm going to do it yet, but I might just start and see how it goes. But that's something I got in the back of my brain right now. So hmm. that's a that's a maybe. Interesting. Uh, yeah, Joseph, do you have anything you want to act on right now? I can't think of anything off the top of my head, other than uh, to keep keep up with some of my hobbies more um, as much as I can. Just because as you as you begin work, you know, as we've talked about, it's harder to keep up with that. So like this coming weekend, um, I'm going backpacking actually with some old college buddies of ours. I'm pretty stoked about that. Actually leaving tomorrow, um, which is why we had to record this week's episode a night early. Um, and then I want to obviously keep up mountain biking with Gabe and uh, Tim, our roommate, as much as we can. I mean, we've been pretty good for the most part, other than this past past couple of weeks have been a bit more yeah. difficult. That's but a weird weather too. It's been like yeah, it was it was rainy and rainy. It was either like stupid hot or raining, which neither are ideal. <laughs> um, so I want to definitely keep up with that and and you know keeping up and improving my cooking habits. I would say are another. Those are kind of things that I've already like done pretty well, but I want to stick with it rather than like try to bring up new things but yeah mm -hmm. uh gabe uh hopefully the world calms the fuck down <laughs> uh let's me go back to the gym that's definitely an action item using action mm -hmm. items because that's uh the term i use at work and yeah, i'm sure you good, guys a good are term. <laughs> aware of it as well so definitely get back to the gym once i can once it's safe uh once all that that stuff is is clear and good to go uh and then yeah kind of brought up two other times uh definitely try and be a lot more consistent with how i play guitar um and try and get through the boring stuff so i can play the fun stuff you know get through the the drills so i can play the cool shit so i can annoy mm -hmm. everybody with me <laughs> fucking up the same song for hours no. playing like wonder wall yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just just need to learn that one song. That's the whole. You started song. that with uh, "Have you ever seen the rain?" the other day by CCR. <laughs> no, I Wasn't played. It? Uh, no, it was "Bad Moon Rising." Uh, Bad Moon Rising. Dude, I knew it was a CCR it. song. Mm -hmm. It's one of those two. I've uh, dreamt of that song. I've <laughs> practiced that so much. It's not that hard, uh, but it was hard for me. And then you know our roommate shows up and schools you on how to play guitar. Okay, that was pretty funny. Playing it for five years so yeah i still got a kick out of it <laughs> right, for, for gabe and joseph i know gabe you just did some work on your office quote unquote office space but is there anything with the house you guys want to improve um in the near future um we actually was it last weekend weekend before we hung up more of our well moved more of the decorations that were in our my apartment previously hung them up in the walls um in the living room finally cleaned off our um, dining room, quote unquote, dining room table. We don't have any chairs for that. It's just a table at the moment. <laughs> um, so we're, we're, we need chairs for one. Um, but we've got a, a fire pit, which is pretty nice. We got an outdoor oh, fire you pit. You got that, Dude, we have that so many outdoor chairs, though. Like the yeah. Ones. We have, so we have more chairs, outdoor chairs, than we have friends. <laughs> um, Wait, did you get the city? So the city cleared that fire pit? I, sure. I don't know. I yeah, wasn't there an issue of being for, too close to the house? For the sake of the podcast, yes. It's I think so, but I, I think we talked. I think uh, Tim had talked to the landlord, and uh, yeah, it's one of those ones okay. raised from the ground. It's like it's covered. It's got like a heap yeah. Of so. I'll stop asking questions. I'm not sure I'm gonna like the answers I get. <laughs> I mean, it's about thirty feet from the house. I mean, thirty it's feet's fine. not really that far if you think about it. Yeah. Um. So it's it's like on the edge, you know, it's like a cave, maybe, maybe, maybe a couple inches off. So you scoot it and like it's rectangular. So you rotate a little bit. No one will know the difference, um, but it's still nice to have. So 
Tune in next week when Justin and Gabe burn their house down. <laughs> uh, Dayton, what do you got on the dock for the rest um, of the year you want to do? I think really the biggest thing is just like work on more projects that are varied. Like I've been doing like a decent amount of projects and I still have the, I mean like the very small project with um, you to like make like the mounting bracket for your, mm -hmm. for your mic boom. But okay, I mean so like can do that. that'll, that'll take like less than 30 minutes. Like I want to do something that actually requires some like solid planning and stuff like mm -hmm. that. But it's just, I have to wait. I guess I have to come up with the inspiration for the project. And so far I haven't really found anything that I really want to work on that. Well, did you, you did your sound panels. Yeah. Yeah. But like, I, I mean, I don't know how much that really went into that, but I mean like the planning aspect of it and like planning out like where I wanted to put them, how big they were um, yeah. and everything like that. I mean, it took like a decent amount of time. Um, I definitely find it hard to start projects if i don't have an innate need for it like if there isn't a reason for me to make and or put the effort into it even mm -hmm. if it's just for fun or education mm -hmm. it has to serve a purpose for me yeah mm -hmm. i'm the same way i'm the same way would you ever go back to the marine robot stuff or is that do you think gonna be on yeah yeah i mean i think it'd be interesting except also that's expensive having yeah. to buy all the parts for that and stuff like that just for something that can drive around like i don't know i feel like i I would get more enjoyment for the same amount of money uh, from like a mountain bike, a new mountain bike or something like that. So I don't know. For sure. Still tossing around in my brain. Mm. Nice. Yeah, I could I could see you work on other projects. I the the amount of I could see the amount of satisfaction you got finishing those audio acoustic panels. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you want to chase that high again? Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's never ending. Yep. All right. Well, that is our show for this week. That's our, our mid-year year compass check-in. Um, I'll put a link in the description on the doing your old year and compass, even though it's halfway through the year. But if you still want to do it, um, give it a shot. You might want to redo your old one for coronavirus stuff. But um, <laughs> yeah, you can find our show every Monday on YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, and Google Play. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter at EWF Podcast. Oh, I forgot. You also follow us on Twitch at ewf underscore podcast if you follow us there you'll get notification when we go live you can come in and watch the show record early um if that's if that's your thing um yeah we'll see you next week so Bye. hold on oh, another cool. thing so another platform i don't know if it's a separate platform but on my phone when i got it uh that came with google podcasts i don't know yeah. if anyone out yeah, here uses it. yeah we're on both okay so that it pull, pulls from there too just want to let you know so you don't have to download a separate app or anything. Yeah, it's it's so dumb. It's Google there. has Google Play and Google Podcasts. They're separate. We're on, we're on both now. Okay, um, yeah. So I, I did find us on there, and I just wanted to let... I don't know if anyone out there list, uses it, but it's a separate or different different app to open. But Yeah, if, if we're not on a service that you use, I guess let us know in the comments or something, um, and we can throw ourselves on there, except for SoundCloud. Fuck SoundCloud. <laughs> um whatever else uh we can probably make that work so yeah uh, let us know and we'll see you next week bye bye bye, bye. bye.